This is our second video on ballistic pendulums. We mentioned in the last video that with a ballistic pendulum, you need to use conservation of mechanical energy for part of the problem. And then you need to use conservation of momentum for another part. You have to use both of those. So let's try another example. Here we have a bullet that is incoming and we have a mass that is connected to a spring. So the bullet slams into the block just like that and that compresses the spring a distance of 0.38 meters and there's our spring constant. This is a frictionless surface so that's kind of nice and these are the things we want to determine. We want to determine the speed of the combined mass just before the spring starts to compress. That speed entails kinetic energy. So this block slash bullet is going to have kinetic energy, which is going to be converted entirely into elastic potential energy as this spring compresses. If we were to say, oh, okay, this is case one here, the bullet by itself, this is case two when the bullet just slams into the block. And then when the spring is fully compressed, let's call that part three. So we're going to go between parts two and three here, and we are going to conserve energy. The kinetic energy right there at the beginning of part two is going to turn into the elastic potential energy of part three. So let's try this. One half. The mass that we'll have is, again, these are nice numbers, 4.95 plus 0 0.05. So that's a mass of five. And I'm going to call that V combined. This is the speed that the block and the bullet have just as they start to scoot together to the right. And that is entirely converted into elastic potential energy, one half k x squared. The one halves cancel. We're going to need a calculator for this. When I did this calculation, I got that the combined velocity right after the bullet hits this block, the two slide together with an initial speed of 7.408 meters per second. I like to keep a few extra sig figs in there because we'll probably need that number later. So now we're going to find the speed of the incoming bullet. So now we're going to go, oh, all right, from one to two, the bullet by itself to when the bullet has slammed into the block, and we are going to conserve momentum. That is the initial momentum that the bullet has needs to equal the final momentum that the block slash bullet together have. The mass of the bullet is 0 0.05. The incoming speed of the bullet, we don't know. The mass of the block and the bullet together is 5 kilograms, and they start scooting off initially at that first instant with a speed of 7.408 meters per second. With a calculator, the speed of this bullet turns out to be about 741 meters per second. Now, how much internal energy, how much thermal energy was generated by the collision? This is a perfectly inelastic collision. The bullet slams into the block and then they stick together. So definitely there is some internal energy or thermal energy or heat or any number of ways you want to describe that generated, how much is generated. To do that, you find the initial kinetic energy of the bullet, and then you find the final kinetic energy that the bullet and block have just as they start to slide, and the difference between those is the internal energy generated. So here we go. One half, the bullet has a mass of 0 0.05 kilograms, and its speed was 741. We're going to square that. The final kinetic energy is going to be one half. The combined mass is five kilograms, and 
it is moving with a speed of 7.408 meters per second. We need to square all that. Again, with the help of a calculator, this comes out to be almost 14,000 joules, and this one comes out to be a paltry 137 joules. The difference between those is on the order of 13,600 joules. You can see a huge fraction of the initial kinetic energy has been converted into thermal energy.